got the Parker Bates. Well, that's it. I've actually caught Well, good evening, welcome to Aquatic College. My name is Bry, and you join me at the start of my 48 hour session at Brookside Fishery. I'm on Linear Lake, which is the catfish and specimen lake. And I've managed to get the peg on, I call it the gravel side. There's a gravel side and behind me there's catfish corner, which is over there. I've managed to get on the gravel side and uh, I'm just trying to find my spot. So at the moment I've got my spod rod and I have got my little weight with the little prongs on it and I'm just casting it out to see where if I can find any spots. I've been told to try and get level with this uh, island. So you can see the island on that side there and that's going across to that point over there. So I'm just going to do some random casts. I've, uh, I've wrapped it up at 10 wraps just to see where the distance is like, see if I can find any spots to see whether I can find any weed. So with this gripper lead, we'll have a few casts and we'll see what we bring in. That is gravel. You can see the, the tip just juddering a bit. So that is gravel. And that is just out for my eye line, it's at the point of the tree. And that feels smooth. Doesn't feel like there's any any weed. It's not much resistance. Oh, there's a bit of resistance there. So that's about halfway in. You can see the resistance in my rod. So yeah, there's weed on that bit there, but there's nothing out where that point is. So you can see on my line, there's a little bit of the faint weed, but that was only halfway in out where that gravel bit was at 10 wraps and I am aiming for the entry there in line from the middle of my peg so I'll use that as a sighter for night times so that's going to be my left hand rod and we'll see if we can find another spot for my right hand rod. Not much weed on that one. So we'll try them both at 10 wraps. I'm going to aim one off this point here and then the other one in this dip. So that's where I'm aiming with both my rods. Get them both out there. 10 wraps and uh, hopefully they're clear enough to catch a fish. So 
today I'm using um, my standard oh my word there's a big fish just jumped right over my right hand rod um, the uh, the usual setup so I have got the three ounce lead and the only bit that I've changed rather than my carp setup as I'm using a braided hook length as you can see um, the one that I've got on my rods is a little bit longer than this one so it can sit on top of the weed and then that's a five, size 5 and it's a eagle claw catfish hook and then I have got hair rig coming out the back and on the hair rigs I am either using the CC CCM bait and that is a fermented salmon and they're the little, little floating pop-ups there and I've got that on the hair rig and then on top I have tied in some uh, worms with my bait floss so it looks like a, uh, a medusa rig my other rod I'm using is a bottom bait and I'm using the 20 mil fermented salmon pellets so these are drilled so I'll basically put those on put a hair stop on the back and I've just got one of those on the same hook as uh, as my pop-up for the time being they absolutely stink so what i'm going to do later on um, i've made some spod mix which uh, i'll show you in a bit and uh, at the moment i've just tied five of those on a little pva mesh bag little stringer to go out with that hook bait the left hand one i've just fired out with a medusa rig on its own um i've had a liner on both already so yeah fingers crossed um it's productive i'm not expecting anything until night time but it is now nine o'clock um i'm going to get some food wind down in bed because I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be busy through the night and uh i always say it hopefully oh next time you see me I'll have a catfish. Um, if not, we'll have a misty sunrise and I'll see you in the morning. Um, if I don't catch a catfish tonight, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, because even though it is fishing hard on this lake, um, there's a guy that I know that fished on it and blanked. And there's a couple over that fished in catfish corner and blanked. But um, I'm hoping. Oh, gotta go. Well, that was either a savage line or it's not hooked it. I don't know why, but while I, while it's in, that's my um, my three ounce lead, and then I have got it down to my hook, and that is the pink pop up with some worms that are tied in. So obviously, when it's in the water, it sits like that. So I'm going to get it back out at ten wraps, and uh, hopefully the next one I hook. I don't know what it is. I am in. I don't know. 
Feels like it's off. Is it off? Oh no. Still on. Still on. Still on. I don't know what time it is. It's five to four in the morning. Oh, it's come off. Fuck's sake. Fuck it. Oh, would you believe it? My other rod's just gone off. It's just redoing my other rod, which is up against the rear. And left hand rod's gone off and it feels solid it's just done a big run it's managed to get my camera out because my fire I literally rushed out so nervous Let's hope this one doesn't get lost in the weed. Four o'clock in the morning. believe this rod's gone off. I was literally five minutes away from redoing it. Come on. It's only thin weed so I can't see how it uh, created the hook pull. It's always a nervous bit when it's underneath the rod tip. It looks like it's small. That didn't look very big. Ah, it's only a small one, but it's a catfish. It's not going to be a 20. Definitely not a 20. But it's a fish. It's a dead small cat. Oh no, it's got back out the net. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I think it's one back out. Come on. I forgot how they swim back out, but only a baby one, but it saves a blank. Let's have a look at it.
Well, when I lost that catfish on my right hand rod, just before four this morning, I thought my chance had gone. And literally, as I'm resetting my rod back up, my left on one goes, I had the popped up pink salmon pellet. And I finally got a catfish. Unfortunately, it's just under nine pounds, so it's not a PB. Um, and it's not my 20 pound target, but it's a cracking little catfish. Put up a great fight. Hopefully it's the first of many. Yeah, absolutely chuffed that I've finally got one. So I'll get a couple of pictures, get my rods back out at 10 wraps, and uh, bring on the next one. Good morning. Um, I've slept in. It's now 10 to 10. Um, yeah, uh, after that car, catfish at 4 a.m., um, there was nothing. I had one beep on my pop up, the pink pop up rod. Um, but yeah, there's just nothing after those two bites. Two bites in five minutes. I thought I was going to be uh, getting quite a few bites, but nothing. So that, that catfish just under nine pounds um, welcome blank saver but uh, I'm going to try and build on my swim today so last night about 11 o'clock I fired out of three spots over each rod um, I don't know whether that's brought the catfish in uh, into that area but I'm going to do that again this morning uh, refresh both the rods because the fermented salmon pellets they deteriorate after about five or six hours from when I fished here about a year or so ago I remember that so I'm going to re um, fresh the baits uh, chuck a few spots over each and uh, just watch the water today and I might just aim for showing fish if there's any uh, carp showing um, I'll switch one of my rods over and have a go for them through the day and then uh, obviously at night time switch them both back to catfish rods and uh, see if we can grab a few a few more so yeah that's where we're at um, I'm going to tidy up the bivvy because it's an absolute mess, get some breakfast, get the rods done and uh, we'll see if we can get another one. Well as I mentioned before, this is what happens to the pellets when they deteriorate in water. So that's been in the water for six hours and you can see how much it's deteriorated compared to the original pellet. So freshen them up and get them back out. Well I've just chucked my catfish rod out and I was just going to put my other second catfish rod out and there was a fish jumped just off the reed bed, looked like a big carp. So I've decided I'm going to switch one rod over to a carp rod like what I said if I saw anything showing. So I'm using the usual um, carp hook length which is the fluorocarbon stiff hook link and then I've got it down to a size 6 Kamakura hook and on there I have got my favourite which is the 14mm fruit and nut wafter and on there I've got the fruit and nut pellet and I've dosed it in some flat spot so yeah I'm going to chuck that one out over there off the reeds and um, fingers crossed we can catch one Come on, bring on the car.
this is the spot mix I am using and it consists of various boilies all fishy ones from 12 to 20 mil and I've also chucked in a load of krill powder some of the ground bait mix just to give it a bit of a cloud and soaked it in all sorts of disgusting smelling if you could smell it now it's absolutely disgusting but it's got loads of fermented salmon sauce krill sauce fishy fish fishy fish sauce and yeah that's the mix that I chucked out last night I chucked three um, spoms over each rod and a few hours later the rods went off so I'm just gonna chuck three or four spoms over my right hand rod which is out at 10 wraps and hopefully that brings the, car, the catfish on uh, I'm not going to chuck any of this over my left hand rod I've just gone with that a simple PVA mesh bag um, to see if I can get a quick bite and then later on I'll top up a bit more out at 10 wraps Well, that second thunderstorm has finally stopped. You can hear slight rumbles in the distance, so it looks like there might be another one on the way. England, under 21s, have just won the World Cup final, or the Euro final, one or two, they've just won a final. And um, I've had a bit of a switch up, so on my right hand rod, there's been a load of fizzing around here. I don't know how many wraps it is, I've just underarm chucked it out, and I've just catapulted it a load of. Um, fermented salmon pellets over the top so oh hear the thunderstorm sounds like there's another one on the way um so yeah i've done that with my right hand rod um if i get a run hopefully it won't take me halfway across the lake like what um the last one did i literally had one on right hand rod when it was out at 10 wraps by the time i could manage to stop it it was halfway into the swim um and I tried to bully it and unfortunately it snapped it snapped on the mono so I'm not sure whether there was a weakness or where this uh, where this raised bit is there I don't know whether it was grating against there and snapped but uh, the, the catfish was right the way over I'm assuming it was a catfish it, it rocketed absolutely rocketed and it was just felt like a ton weight so yeah that's, uh, that's the third one I've lost uh, and obviously I've only caught that one so far so it's a bit um, 
a bit frustrating to be honest. But the rods are back out. Last night ahead of us, it's now 25 to 8. So I'm going to get my pizza, have another brew, and uh, fingers crossed. It's a more productive night. It's a bit cooler tonight than what, obviously what it was last night. It was like 26 degrees last night, which was really warm. There was a lot of fish on the top. I've not seen many on the top tonight other than a bit of fizzing. So hopefully the fish are down on the bottom, doing a bit of feeding. And um, fingers crossed I can get you a, a catfish. Beautiful evening. Yeah, they fight like that. I've never known a fight like it. You think when you win? Oh, I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to go. Well, I'm in, that spot works. Glitch that underarm cast. Oh. Well, that right hand rod, the right hand rod that I showed you, just another arm chuck out, it's just rocketed off. And I thought I had a catfish after a screaming battle. But <laughs> it's an absolutely stunning mirror carp and I can't believe it but it's exactly 20 pounds I'm never gonna beat this 20 pound PB it's the fur the third carp I've had uh, exactly 20 pounds but I'm not gonna complain I want to get some pictures absolutely chuffed to bits <sighs> and that took the catfish hook with um, one 20 mil pellet with topped off with the high vis pink so yeah absolutely cracking get a couple of pictures get it back but this has absolutely made my session and it's equal my pv yet again well i've got my rod back out again and i've just realized that is a pb because it's a PB on uh, for a mirror carp. Basically, uh, the two 20 pounders I've had have both been commons, and that was a 20 pound mirror, so <laughs> a new PB. Still not above 20 pounds, which, uh, to be honest, since I'm fishing for catfish, it's a welcome bonus. And uh, I've got my rod back out again. It's literally just out here. It's not even, I'd say about six, seven wraps. So I've got that, flick that back out again. I'm gonna catapult a few more uh, bits over the top, just for tonight. And I don't know what to do with my right hand rod, because it is currently about there. Just under halfway across the lake in that alcove. I was getting bites here, so I might redo that one or I've got another option of having it just off this point. Now I've seen fish splashing there 
and it uh, it looks productive. Water on the lens, one sec. Yeah, it's uh, it's raining. Uh, yeah, it's been been fish splashing over there earlier on, so I'll see how it goes. But yeah, just thought I'd let you know it is a PB. It's made my session, and I'm gonna get back inside the bivvy now because it's raining, and uh, hopefully we can catch a catfish now. Twenty pounder would top it off. It's half past in nine at night and we've just had a thunderstorm hence why I've got my GoPro doing a time lapse and I am just watching a film and my pizza is done. Our own South Coast angler would be proud. Nothing more on the uh, catfish front but now that the storm stopped I don't mind my rod going. <laughs> but if not I'm gonna get my tea watch a film and uh, if I don't catch see you with a catch with a catch with a carp or a catfish I'll probably see you first thing in the morning well it's 20 past 11 at night and I've just redone my rods and chucked out some spawns and I'm using my head torch to light up in front of me so I know where I'm spawning to. And right in the edge, I don't know whether you can see it on the camera, there are absolutely hundreds of bugs in the water. I don't know what they are. Just hundreds of them. I'm gonna put the GoPro under the water and see. bombarded by flies so I'm going to go back in my bivvy but that's me done for the night and uh, hopefully I get some bites like last night oh I'm in Bypass two. Oh, 
Let's go again. Every time I get something on it, it just pulls again. Well, that was absolutely hard work, and it's not even that big. My word, that was ridiculous. Nice to catch her. It's now quarter past three and I did hook this catfish at quarter past two and it just didn't want to come in. I was sure it was a massive fish but it's not and it's not a 20 but it's a new PB just over 14 pounds. My PB was just over 13 pounds and this has turned out to be 14 pounds so yeah new PB for me my back and legs are absolutely killing I've been playing this for an hour and uh, two PBs in one night I can't complain so I'm gonna get a couple of pictures get it back and hopefully a motor rod goes off next absolutely cracking look at the size of that look at the size absolutely enormous and the whiskers are stunning look at it <sighs> cracking
Well, good morning. What a night. That catfish, that bullied me for over an hour. Just raise this up a bit for you. So you can see me better. Yeah, that catfish bullied me for an hour. Um, and it was only 14 pounds. So yeah, I've, um, it's now nine o'clock. I've just redone both my rods at seven wraps. And I've put one directly in line with that tree again. The, uh, that entry there. Like I did yesterday and the day before. Uh, but I did go out 10 wraps initially. I've now brought it back to seven wraps. Uh, in line with the right hand rod where I've caught the uh, carp and the catfish on and the left hand rod I have done the same straight out where that tall tree is which is yeah which is that one there that one yeah in line with that my word I can't do reverse pointing in line with that um, seven wraps again and then I've chucked out about four or five spawns over each rod so that's going to be those set now for I think the pellets last about five or six hours so with it being nine o'clock now I'm gonna leave that till about one o'clock um, and that'll be it I'm hoping I catch one more catfish but yeah um, I expected more overnight to be honest um, after I got that, that hook that one at 2 a.m. but uh, yeah I'll take it a new PB that's two PBs on this session um, and uh, if that's it, I get none today, then I'm, I'm proper chuffed with it. Um, just want to say I've been to the, the toilets this morning and they are the cleanest port -a I have ever seen in my life. Um, I know some fisheries, the, the toilets are disgusting, um, but that port -a cabin it's absolutely immaculate. It's right next to the lake. So yeah, if anyone's coming fishing here, uh, the toilet facilities are absolutely spot on. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm, uh, the rods are back out. I'm going to go and get some breakfast because I'm absolutely starving. Uh, and I might even have a nap because uh, I've still not recovered from last night. So fingers crossed we can uh, catch another fish. But if not, I'm proper chuffed. Um, it's the slow pack down today. So say I am got to be off for half past four. So I'm going to... Uh, start the slow pack down after lunch and uh, and yeah and maybe try and film some more wildlife I'll see you in a bit
well it's half past 12 and I think this could be my last cast just redo my rods my rods have been out there since 6 this morning and uh, the pellets were starting to wire down oh feel fair and um, I've just redone my rig which is what I've been catching on so that's the 20 mil fermented salmon pellet with a little bit of pink just gives that little bit of visual and it just helps it lower down slowly just in case it's sitting on weed so that's my hook in there. and then I've got the little PVA mesh bag and it's got five of these pellets in so hopefully that sits amongst the uh, sits amongst the pellets once the PVA mesh bag opens up and then I am triple hooking it twice one way one the other so it's locked onto there so yeah, I'm going to get that back out. Um, I have the left hand rod, I've had it seven wraps towards that end tree there. Um, I've had nothing on that. So for the last couple of hours, I'm sending it out, back out at 10 wraps, where I got the bites on the first night. Um, and fingers crossed. Oh, I don't feel fair. Uh, and fingers crossed. Um, that's more productive than what seven wraps were. It's starting to cloud over a bit, so I'm a little bit worried. It said it's going to rain it too, so I'm going to get my lunch and have a slow pack down. But yeah, I'm going to get this out at uh, 10 wraps on the left. The right hand rod, I'm going to do the usual seven wraps where I caught the carp and the catfish last night. And uh, fingers crossed I can try and nick one in the last couple of hours. I've had to come inside my bivvy because it's absolutely roasting outside. Um, so I've come in for a bit of lunch. So I have got my uh, pre-prepared, uh, that's chicken uh, noodles with barbecue stir fry sauce. I, I normally, ooh, I think that's a kingfisher. I normally have that as meal prep through the week, but I've brought some with me for the weekend. And I'm also having my garlic bread, which uh, don't look at the bottom. It's slightly burnt. So yeah, um, I'm just wondering what people eat on the meat on the uh, bank. Obviously, I have a Ridge Monkey pan uh, uh, XL toaster, and um, I want to try some different recipes. If anybody has something that they cook that's decent, uh, can you let me know, and I'll give it a go and uh, see what it's like. But yeah, I'm gonna have my lunch now. It is quarter past one. Um, I'm gonna have my lunch and then it's, I'm gonna to start to pack down because to be honest, it's really, really sunny. Um, when it was like this, there was no bites last time. I know they've just got one over there in Catfish Corner, so there might be still a chance, but I'm gonna do a pack down now because uh, time is getting on. I don't really wanna be rushing around last minute. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. As I say, it's, um, I feel a lot more confident in the last year of specimen fishing. Uh, last time I fished here, everything was new to me rigs didn't know what spawning was i only just started doing wraps and i basically i got two tangles last time i remember bird's nest because i wasn't keeping the line tight between when you wrap and then you reel it in from the wrap i was just letting it go all over the place and i was just all tangling in bird's nest and then everything else so yeah a year down the line um i think i've really improved um the uh two pbs in this session two cats and a carp. I didn't expect getting a carp, so that was a welcome bonus. Um, 
I'm not that confident I'm going to get another bite in this heat because normally it's later on where the catfish switch on. I might have a chance of a carp, but if not, I've had a great session. I've thoroughly enjoyed being on the bank. I need to go home and get a shower because if you could smell this bivy and smell my feet, they're absolutely minging. So yeah, I'm going to uh, eat my lunch, do a slow pack down, and then uh, I'll either see you with an outro or with a carp or a cat. Well that's it for Brookside Fishery, it's now 3 o'clock, the only thing that's left is now my rods, so I'm going to reel those in, pack up, and go home. So yeah that's it, um, the two cats, £9 and £14, and that beautiful £20 mirror carp. Two PBs on the carp and the catfish, so I can't complain, really love the 48 hours. Fishing's great, the wildlife's great, and the weather has turned out okay today. After the storms yesterday, I was a bit worried, but I'm gonna hurry up because there's rain due in the next hour, so I'm gonna get all the gear put away while it's dry. So yeah, that's it, so thanks for watching. If uh, you wanna follow me on all my social media, I really do appreciate it, and hopefully, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.